Hello, greetings, and welcome. After reading section 2.1 from the text on an introduction to linear programming, I just wanted to take a few minutes to review some important concepts from that section, and then also to discuss some very basic mathematical principles, um, namely dealing with flipping relational ship operators, so changing greater than or equal to to less than or equal to uh, in mins and maxes, mins to maxes. Okay, um, so without further ado, okay, I first want to start with um, the three fundamental assumptions of linear programming. Okay, so first is the deterministic property, second is divisibility, and third is linearity. So what's meant by the deterministic property is that all of our parameters are known with certainty. Okay, and so you know, what does this mean, right? And so you know, much of the world we live in is probabilistic in nature. So perhaps I have uh, three machines available for a given process, um, but on a given day, one of those machines could fail, and I'm only left with two machines. Okay? Um, and so maybe you know we're thinking that uh, rather than have a parameter, that the value of that parameter should be allowed to to change or, or fluctuate. Um, but that's not the case. And so typically, how we handle such situations is via a sensitivity analysis. So we say solve our problem, um, and we keep the number of machines fixed at um, three. Um, but then we can do what if scenarios. What if the number of machines we had available was two? Um, or maybe what if we bought an additional machine, and the number of machines we had available uh, to us was four? Um, and by doing these what if uh, analyses, we could look at the effect of the value of that parameter on our optimal solution. Okay, maybe. Um, you know, I have a machine that I can run for on um, for seven hours a day. Uh, what if I had eight hours available? Or what if it crashed halfway during the day uh, and I only had three or four hours available? All right. And so by uh, sensitivity analysis, we would play around with, you know, looking at these what if scenarios to look at what the effect of a value of a parameter is on an optimal solution. Okay. But deterministic property when solving a problem um, all of our parameters need to be fixed um, or known with certainty. Divisibility, uh, so all of our variables need to be allowed to be any real number. Okay, um, And so in parentheses, I have listed non-integer. And so if you were to restrict your variables to take on integer values, um, well, that's a topic for a later chapter on integer programming. Okay, But divisibility, our variables can be any real number. And then finally, linear, linearity. So all of our expressions, uh, both objective and constraints, uh, need to be linear. And so what does that mean? So if um, f was some function of x1, um, then it would take the form of a0 plus a1 times x1, okay? where a0 and a1 are just constants. Okay? Um, or if I had some function f, which is a function of some uh, variables x1 and x2, then that would be expressed as a0 plus a1 x1 plus a2 x2, where a0, a1, and a2 are all constants. Okay, cool, linearity. Then the second thing I wanted to mention in terms of some basic math, because um, oftentimes we'll need to um, manipulate our problems for uh, solutions on particular software, um, is the basic form of our um, problem is going to be that we're trying to, you know, maximize some function uh, subject to some set of constraints. Okay, so we're going to maximize, um, you know, f of x, where, uh, you know, f of x, so uh, f is a function that maps x, some variable, to z. And this is just some generic representation for, uh, you know, subject to uh, constraints listed in, in the text. Okay, but basically what I just want to mention is you know um, our optimization problems will typically either or we will either maximize or minimize a function. Okay, now we can readily convert from max to min um, via sign change. So the max of f of x would be equivalent to the min of negative f of x. All right, so you can readily interconvert between a maximization and a minimization problem. Okay, so that's that's point one. So for example, when I solve a problem in, in MATLAB, MATLAB's going to try and, and maximize. So if I set up my problem to be a, a minimization, um, well, I can readily convert from one to the other. Okay. 
Uh, second uh, is our constraints are typically going to be listed as relational 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 operators. Ha, sorry. Okay. Um, and so you know, generic uh, these could generically be written say as the um, left hand side is greater than or equal to some right hand side. Okay. Um, again, you know, for some one reason or another, it may be that I want to work with only um, less than or equal to operators and not greater than or equal to operators. Okay, um, so perhaps this is a limitation on the software you're using to solve a problem. Uh, so just remember, you can readily convert or flip um, your operator. Um, and so, you know, here would be if I multiply the left hand side and right hand side by negative uh, one. Okay, um, what that would do is that would flip my operator. Right, so well, LHS, my left hand side's greater than or equal to my right hand side. Okay, the negative of my left hand side would be less than or equal to the negative of my right hand side. Okay, and so this gives me the ability to flip these operators so that if it needed to be flipped for you know a reason, um, typically when dealing with you know particular software that can only handle um, constraints in a given form. Uh, we can readily convert from one to the other. Okay. Um, but that's all I want to mention from uh, section 2.1. Next, we'll dig into 2.2 and we'll begin to solve uh, some problems. Okay. All right, let's do it.